G'day folks. This is a large carrier heat pump that I picked up today. Uh, it's one of two units that came in at the scrapyard actually. I don't have the other unit here. They're tearing that one apart on site. I just thought I'd bring this one home and do a video on it. Uh, they were scrapped because of system leaks. Both of them. There's fluorescent dye running down the side here. Um, this one's in better condition than the other one, but they have very shoddy soldering. Uh, the other one was still leaking gas when I got to it, in four places at least. Uh, they're made in Korea, which is a bit below standard for carrier. I expected better. But, yeah, I'm going to take this thing apart and just show you what the solder joints are like. I might go down tomorrow to the yard if the, that other one's still there and do a video on that because that was shocking. Really bad solder joints. Lots of porosity, very poor flow, not enough heat. Yeah, very bad solder joints. This one actually says intended for heat pump, so it's heat active. Let's get this sucker apart now that it's stopped raining. Well, this one is... Uh, made by the same company. It's slightly different to the other one. I have a feeling they might have replaced the compressor on the old one and whoever did it did a real shoddy job of it. This one still has some funny soldering points on it which may or may not be leaking but something's definitely up with these two units. They've probably discarded this one for security's sake and just replaced the both of them. That other one has terrible leaks in it. I'll have to check it out tomorrow. This one here, you can see shoddy little build um, attributes, improper soldering, bits spliced in here and there, very much Korean, the crankcase heater. The compressor has a special sticker on it, Carlisle, Carlisle Millennium, obviously a different marketing name, but it's the same scroll technologies, scroll compressor as marketed as Bristol Infinity Scroll and Danfoss something or other scroll. I'll grab the other compressor out of the other unit too. Nice big accumulator on it as well. Outlet. Well I've checked it over thoroughly and there's obviously a leak somewhere. I've had a lot of that green crap in it. Uh, there's no gas in it. The valves were left open and taped up. So all it's left to do now is just to chop it up and return the rest of it to my mate. As I said before, it's not officially mine, but I can keep the compressor and accumulator and contactor. A few other little bits. Don't know about the fan, I think you'll want the motor back for scrap. It's only three phase, I can't use it. The 2001 model. Hmm. I'll see what's going on with it. I might be able to keep it. For now, time to get cutting. This sort of reminds me of the Alien movies bleeding green blood everywhere. Probably none too good for me either. That dye sure does make a mess. It's going to come out of the compressor if I ever open that up. With a bit of luck it runs, I'll keep it if it runs. Even though it's three phase, I can single phase it. I'll see about the other compressor that they've replaced and botched up. That's probably near new. They would have scrapped the unit because it leaked here and, well, everywhere else. I might even take the top off this one and just run it with the top off. All the little shiny bits. I'm just cleaning it for my mate at the scrapyard. I don't own this unit, so I'm not cashing this in. I'll just give it all back to him after I've done this video. There's a ton of surface area on these coils when you lay them out. Just imagine some air conditioners have that three times thick or more. A lot of weight in them too. Good scrap value. About $1.60 a kilo now. 